guys welcome to Regina Aura in this section we will be looking at how to install Oracle Linux 6 on the VMware Workstation 10 machine during the process of this installation we will be installing alongside packages and groups needed for Oracle 12c installations let's start prior to now I have already installed the VMware Workstation 10 so this is like the home interface where we have um, several options to what we can do Let's check the VMware website where you can download your own files. So this is the VMware Workstation site. And um, this is where you have to select the versions of um, the VMware Workstation that you want to download. So we are using 10.0, but you can see we have um, previous releases of VMware Workstation. So you scroll down to the bottom part where you see um, VMA workstation for Windows and then you can just go to download and then download that okay we will be creating a, a new virtual machine so I'm just going to click on that then we have a wizard for new virtual machine so on this wizard we have um, welcome to new virtual machine wizard so we have two types of configuration we have the typical and the custom configuration okay so I'm just going to leave it at the default which is the recommended um, typical configuration on this part is where we have to choose our guest operating system. There are three options for you. You can either have your guest operating system as an installer disk or an ISO file or even install it later. Uh, for me, I already have my guest operating system as an ISO file. So I'm just going to go through the top drop down and um, choose that. Okay, you can see Oracle Enterprise Linux 64 bits dictated. Okay, and then I'll have next. Okay, this part is the name of your virtual machine. So by default, it takes the name of the ISO file that I have. So I have Oracle Enterprise Linux 64 bits. You can also change that to probably um, Oracle Linux. Okay, and then this is the default location where your virtual machines are stored. You can edit it, you can browse and create another location if you're not comfortable with this. But I'm just going to leave this at that. And then we'll move to next. Okay, this part talks about your disk capacity and this is one part where you have um, people ask questions like how do I know the capacity of hard disk space I'm supposed to allocate to my virtual machine and all. Okay, not to worry, you don't have to worry about your hard disk space capacity as it grows by itself over time as you have um, as you start installing application files, data files into your virtual machine. So you can just leave it at this because this is the maximum size. Uh, you can increase it, but it doesn't actually assume that space immediately you create your virtual machine. It starts assuming the space as you add up things to your virtual machine. So you just need to know first what you want to do with your virtual machine. Okay, now the next part is how you want your virtual machine to be stored in your location okay you can either store virtual machine as a single file or you can split it but splitting is the default because it makes it easier to move around your virtual machines from one system to another system let's move to next now this part is if you're ready to create a virtual machine are you okay with all of this that we have here if you're okay, they will click finish, then we'll power on the virtual machine. But if you're not okay, there are certain steps you can do under the customized hardware. Now, under this part, you have like specify your RAM size. If your RAM size is, um, if you have like 8 gig in your system, then you can give your virtual machine like um, 4 gig or even lesser than that. The more the RAM size you locate your virtual machine, the faster your virtual machine will be. Okay, so that's how it works and then so you can also do certain um, configuration here so i'm just going to leave it at what i have there and then just close this then when we're done you can now click on finish since we're done with our configuration so we can now um, power on this virtual machine so i'm just going to click on power on please note that you can always um go back to this edit virtual machine to um, readjust the settings if you're not okay with this um, settings we have here so I'm just going to power on right now okay this part you can see um, Oracle Linux sync so for installation and upgrade I'm going to click inside and then just have that um, install and upgrade existing system 
Okay, we have to give that a little while. Okay, so we welcome to Oracle Linux server. As you can see that. So this first part, um, your disk has been found. You can either test your installation media before starting your installation or you can skip. So I'll just choose to skip. Okay, you can see found local media dictated. Okay, now we can begin our Oracle Linux 6 installation. So I'll just click on next. Okay, this part is where you choose the language that you would like to use during this installation process. So I'll just leave it at English. Then this um, path is to select the appropriate keyboard for the system. And then I'll still leave it at um, US English. And then you have several options of um, languages there. This path is to choose what type of devices will um, our installation involve. So I'm just going to leave it at basic storage devices, okay? This part is your um, storage device um, warning, okay? If you have any valuable data on this um, device, you can click on no keep any data. If you don't, then you can say yes, discard any data. I'm going to click on yes, discard any data because I don't have any data in this um, device. So let's click on that. So it's going to examine my storage device. Okay. This part is to name this computer. So the default host name is um, local host or local domain, but you can change it to look like um, something you want depending on um, what you're doing. Okay. So I'm just um, going to leave it as um to change that name there and then since it's oracle linux i'm installing so i can just have that over here the local domain and then i'll click on next this part is to select your nearest city in your time zone okay so i'm just going to select um where i am at the moment okay so to leave that um lagos africa okay and then i'll click on next this part is to set our root password for administering the system. So I'm just going to um, give the root password there. Okay, and then I'll click on next. So I've provided a weak password and it's not based on dictionary, but I'll just use that anyway. We have to select the type of installation we like. So we have the default selection has um, replaced existing Linux systems. Okay, you have other options um, like um, the use all space, the shrink um, current system, or the use free space, or you create a custom layout. And here we have um, two options for um, review and um, modify partitioning layout, or if you want to encrypt your system. Okay, I'll check the review. Um, and um, modify partitioning layout in case you want to adjust the partitions you have there there are some partitions you you wouldn't be needing or you ha want to have uh, more spaces to your partition and all that so i'll just click on next when we start this installation i mentioned that we are going to be installing oracle packages you'll be needing if you are going to be installing oracle database 12c on this um oracle linux um platform okay by default, um, the option for Oracle Linux is a basic server installation, but you can select any other software that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at basic server installation. I'm going to leave it at customized now, okay, because um, I want to show you how we can install um, some of the packages that we have. Okay, this has a list of um, um, packages and then each of these packages has um, um, groups in them okay um, let me just show you some of the packages that um, you'll be needed for 12 installation okay now we have a um, base system where you have the base so what I'm going to do is this okay so I'm going to show you how to 
check this particular package and then you'd repeat that for this all the packages if you will be using your oracle linux for oracle 12 installation okay so i'm just going to have this is my base system and then this is base and then when you click on that you would see this optional package is highlighted okay so you can just um, open up that and then select each of the packages that you will be needing okay so until you are done selecting those packages when you're done you just close and then repeat that tax for the other packages that you have there okay so i'm just going to click on next So this part is going to check for dependencies um, in packages selected. So if you had selected um, several packages, it's going to have to kind of put those packages together before the installation will start. Okay. Um, I'm talking about packages. You can either customize your packages um, during the point of installation or do that after you're done with your installation, whichever way um, makes you um, comfortable. So our installation is started, okay, um, we have to wait a while for um, the installation to be done, okay. Okay, we've come to the end of this installation. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the article of this installation at reginaara.blogspot.com. Thank you for viewing.